everybody. Happy December 1st. I have no voice, hence why it is 6.30 and I am just now vlogging today because I literally can't talk. <laughs> um, I flew to Texas today and I am here for my first sugar plum weekend of the season. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna need subtitles. Um, at Ballet Brazos, where I was last year with Lucienne, if you guys remember that. This year I'm with the wonderful George Sanders. Um, I'm sure you'll see him on here. So the challenge for me this year is to, we're still doing Vlogmas. Oh, by the way, happy Vlogmas. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> duh, Katie, like maybe announce what you're doing. Yes, we're doing Vlogmas. Sorry, I wanted to, I wanted to get the tutu out of the bag. Um, so the challenge is for me to make it different because <clears throat> a lot of this Vlogmas is gonna be similar than last Vlogmas because of Nutcracker cakes and this and that. So I'm already starting to get a little creative. Um, don't worry, I'll show, still show you everything. But I think the big thing for me this year is that we are doing our own, Chris and our, my own school's Nutcracker um, Dance Academy in Southern California. Um, but so I'm doing Sugar Plum there, but I'm also coaching. So it's like I'm dancing and coaching. So I think that'll be a good kind of change this year. Um, but I want to see how festive I can get. I want to see if we can do more like lifestyle fashion, um, uh, maybe some, you know, more lifestyle stuff in this Vlogmas too. But that's my challenge, just making it different and talking. Yeah. So it's 630. We just got to Texas. We're, we have the stage tonight because again, this is another, if you're a podcast listener, you already know this. But this is another like, hi, nice to meet you. Let's, let's dance situation. George and I have never met until today. So tonight we're gonna go and like walk and get a version and then tomorrow is dress rehearsal in the first show. So happy Vlogmas. So <clears throat> I brought Pinky this year for Texas. I wore gold last year. So we're changing it up here. We brought Pinky. She's looking a little rough. I think, uh, yeah, she's looking a little rough, but that's okay. She looks good from far away. She looks good. So I'm now ready to go. <clears throat> to the theater to rehearse rehearse with George we're gonna like you know walk and talk step step tondu that kind of thing um and yeah this is not getting any better Happy December 2nd. Um, still don't sound any better, but such is life. Um, so today is dress rehearsal this morning and then the show this evening. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. A lot of you, <clears throat> which is a huge compliment to me, want me to do more outfits of the day because you like my style. 
Um, so sure, happy to do it. Um, hate to disappoint today, <laughs> but I'm not very stylish today. Literally just like leggings, y'all. Leggings from Amazon, okay? They're not see-through. You know like the see-through trick where you bend over and it's like not see-through. They came in a pack of seven. I'll link them below. Um, they're great for teaching. They're great for like dancing. And they're also extremely, they're high-waisted. And you can either do that or you can like fold them down. So because it's actually cold here for warmth, I'm going to do that. <laughs> a little Lululemon top underneath. Lululemon. And then just a sweater on top. Because I'm like, we're not being fashiony right now because we're literally going to the theater and putting on dance clothes. So, you know. Um, this is a <clears throat> Banana Republic sweater. Very great outfit of the day. Oh, and my shoes. When you're dancing, <clears throat> comfort and sport first, y'all. I know it's not, you know, everybody wants to look cute, which I get. But when you're on a gig, you got to be careful. These are Uggs. These are Ugg tennis shoes. The final piece to the ensemble for layering is just this LK Bennett sweater. It's kind of like my go-to travel sweater if I don't want to wear a coat. Um, so yeah, it can. It's also like a, you can do this whole thing, but I just kind of wear it, leave it open. So let's go dance. Okay, so the first thing I always do is unpack. How nice is this? They gave us little bags of stuff. So cute. So cute. T-shirt. So cute. Some pretty nice chocolates. Yes. And this whole thing of fruit. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Shoot, it's in the back. The Catherine Morgan collection. The red one. The temperament one. Makes a great holiday gift. Yeah, this is one of the most popular ones. I love it so much. And now I'm looking festive.
15. Um, it is in between dress rehearsal and the show. The show's at 7. Um, I'm going to head back at like 5.15 to start getting ready at 5.30 for the 7 o'clock show. Um, and then, but dress rehearsal's really good. Really good. Um, went great. And if you're a podcast listener, this will be a surprise to you, but I love to <clears throat> throw things. I love to like keep it interesting for myself and sometimes make it up as I go. So <clears throat> we were doing dress rehearsal and we finished the pot of it and I got off stage and I was like, you know what? I want to change it up. So literally like 30 seconds before I go out for my solo, which I usually do the balancing version, I decided to just do the classical version. Never done it full out all the way through before and it went great <laughs> so now I have two options and the good news is if I switch over to the classical version I can film it and I can put it in the vlog in its entirety so we'll see if I end up doing that tonight um, or any other um, show this week but I did end up doing the classical version I might put the Balanchine tag on the end though because the last thing in the classical version is a full menage, and I do a full menage in the coda, so I might, I don't know, I might be, it might be a mixed version anyway. <coughs> but I love to do that. Um, so it, I'm editing the vlog. I'm actually, I haven't vlogged that much because it's it's exhausting to talk. Um, I feel fine. I have a little bit of congestion, but it's just it's infuriating and it's exhausting to talk. So I'm sorry for this first vlog. I have no idea what it's going to be, um, but vlogmas will get better. I promise. Here's the theater. It's a beautiful theater. Humongous. Absolutely humongous. And it's gorgeous. This is where we'll take pictures after. Super cute. So cute. in the potata but it was the first time we'd ever performed it together and this is how it goes for me the first one is bumpy but then the solo and the coda were fantastic like I rocked the solo <clears throat> I went back to the version I always do tonight because I was tired and I was like I don't want to have to think so I went back to my usual and I did a triple on it on pirouette yes and then on the second set I ran out of room and did a sujinu so we did a triple pirouette and a sujinu but hey you know we're good um, <clears throat> so yeah, now I'm doing the always fun. Oh, it's so not fun. It took me six minutes to get numb this time. Usually it's a lot sooner. So I'm, I'm struggling. Um, but yeah, I ordered dinner and, um, tomorrow is a tip show day. Hopefully I will have a voice tomorrow. I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of like talking to you today, but hopefully I have a voice. So see you tomorrow.